Hi guys, uh, what we have today is an update on where we are with Knockham Flats. Obviously when you're doing an octagonal water tower which has a hexagonal roof, yeah I don't know why that is either, um, it makes life fun. So, um, I wouldn't say it's the perfect hexagon but we're getting there. What I want to do is show you today how I do the tiles. Um, I just cut out a paper or card, I think it's 180 GSM cardstock and that we've used. I think it's quite effective, so I'll show you how I go about making these. Take a bit of paper first. Use obviously we've got all the most people have got these mats, you have the grids here, these are all one centimetre square. So what I do is I take Card, lay it down, take the ruler, move it on the centimetre, knife, there's my very square one. Sorry about this guys, but well, you might as well see what it's like in real life as opposed to be trying to fake it. When we have these pieces here, there's a take one and just roughly mark the middle on either side. Faint line through it, set it down, and then cut out my tails, but only halfway through. I'm using this here as the template, so I know roughly where to cut. What this is doing is giving me the illusion of tiles. There we have some tiles. Now, what to do roughly where these are going to go? There's an element of guesswork. If I'm happy that's where it's going to be, I'm fine with that. Just take some 
Je pense que Same again, obviously. I don't know if you can see. Focus there. You can see all the small lines. Obviously, your next one, you want to make sure it's offset, so it's going to be coming. The tile's going to be there and there. Right. It does mean there's a wee bit of waste, but it's not the end of the world. small scale but obviously the neater the better and then what I like to do is just take the tail every now and again and just lift it up just to give us a wee bit of undulation and the same You can see how that's come along. Some of you might be thinking this is quite a tedious job, quite a boring job. You'd be right, but. Something very sad about me, and I actually quite enjoy it. Must have a pretty sad life. So, there you go. I think you get the gist of what I'm up to. I'll go ahead and finish it all off now. And I'll show you when it's done. Well guys, there you go, there's the finished article. Um, there's loads of different ways to do tiles on a roof. I find for me this method works well. You're putting it in in strips as opposed to single tiles one at a time. Because they are so small, doing it this method makes it easier to handle. You can obviously use this for bigger tiles, whatever. What you don't get with this method is the randomness, unless you want to sort of start lifting the tiles up sort of random. You can pull tiles out, you can you can do certain things, but it's not going to be as random looking or as dilapidated looking as you will with the random tiles. But for me it does the job. Hopefully you like that. Hopefully someone can use it. Um, any comments, any questions, just put them down below. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.